Hello YouTube and welcome back to another one of my videos. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about Mandela effects. Now if you don't know what Mandela effects are, um, where have you been? They're literally like all over YouTube. I feel like I can't even like open up the YouTube app without finding one. Now I'm still a little bit late to the game in like making videos about these and they're still really popular. So what they are are things that like, okay I'm just going to continue on with the video because like opposed to explaining it because I'm just going to probably confuse it because I'm bad at explaining things. But um, I've compiled a list of Mandela effects in this notebook, yeah, uh, that I will be reading for you today. There's a total of five of them and I've never heard of these before, before I researched them. So yeah, let's get on with this. So the first one is um, Oscar Mayer Wieners. Now, I honestly thought that this was spelt, okay, so like Oscar spelt normal, O-S-C-A-R and then the Meyer, M-E-Y-E-R, but it's actually spelt, so like Oscar is still spelt the same, but then Meyer, in like the first E, it's M-A-Y-E-R, which like, that's such a weird way to spell Meyer, like I'm like picturing the package in my head, and like I know that it says, like that it's spelt the way that I thought it was, but I guess it isn't, which is kind of frustrating because it makes me question like, is anything real like I don't know okay let's move on to the next one so the song we are the champions everyone including me thinks that it ends in um, of the world like we are the champions of the world or whatever I don't know how to sing but it actually doesn't like that was never a part of the song I mean obviously like it's said in the song I think at one point but that's not how the song ends like, I'm going to have to listen to this song again, because that's actually, like, I'll sometimes just be singing this song, and that's how I end it. I don't know, you guys. Like, this is kind of weird. This is freaking me out a little bit. Alright, so the next one is, um, The Rich Uncle Pennybags from Monopoly. So, like, obviously Monopoly's kind of an older game, and people of, like, a different time period I guess you could say that were rich like wore monocles I guess and rich uncle Pennybags doesn't have a monocle like it showed me a picture and the monocle looks like that looks right to me like why would he not have a monocle like I swear I've seen that he has a monocle if you don't know what a monocle is it's like glasses only it's just one on one eye like I swear he has a monocle on Ugh. This is frustrating me, and I already, like, read these once. Like, I was already frustrated in my living room while I researched this. Now I'm just getting more angry. <laughs> okay, the fourth one is, um... Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay, I my handwriting was really bad. So, um, I used to play a lot of, like, Pokemon games when I was younger. Like, I collected the cards, I played it on my DS. Like, that game was literally my life, like... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I loved Pokemon to the point where I could play that game, like, nine hours a day. Like, to an unhealthy level. Now, I, like, when I picture Pikachu in my head, like, I always picture his tail having, like, a, a black, like, it, it ends in, like, a little black tip or whatever. But according to, like, the Mandela effect, or, like, the Mandela effect side of this or whatever, it doesn't have, or Pikachu doesn't have a black tip on his tail. It's just yellow. Which... Like, I knew that game well. I played that game so often. I had, like, five Pikachus. I don't know how to feel about this anymore. Also, I'm using a light right now, and it's making my face look really oily, but, like, the lighting's good, so we're just gonna go with that, okay? Sorry. Sorry. Now for the last one, which, like, this one is unbelievable. This is probably the craziest one of all the ones that I've told you about. So, we all know, even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you know the famous scene where Darth Vader says, Luke, I am your father. I even heard Big Bang Theory, which if you don't know what that show is, there's a bunch of nerds on there that they're physicists or whatever, and they, like, love comics and whatnot, and Star Wars and not Star Trek, all that stuff. And they quoted it in the show, Luke, I am your father. Like, I remember hearing that from one of the characters about something like, well, they were at Comic-Con or something. I don't even know. But it's actually, no, I am your father. So instead of saying Luke, Darth Vader says no, 
which like that that's just disgustingly wrong like that doesn't seem right you know it seems like if you're dying you should say your son's name not no i'm your father i don't even know anymore okay like that mandela effects frustrate me like a lot because like when you think about them, you realize how true they are, but I did not believe that that stuff was real right away. Like, I actually had to go and research this stuff and make sure that this website wasn't lying. I don't, I don't know anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna end this video. I really liked doing this, so I'm probably gonna do more in the near future. So give this a thumbs up if you liked hearing about crazy stuff in this world, other known as Mandela Effects. Um, subscribe if you're new here and comment if you were shook by any of these because I definitely was. So thank you. Bye bye. Peace out.